look at the sequence, the values are increasing. So it has to be definitely not linear. So I'm going to try with powers, okay? I look at the numbers 2, 12, 36. They are kind of closest to the cube numbers. Think of cube of 1, which is 1. Cube of 2 is 8. Cube of 3 is 27. So I want to analyze if there is any pattern here. So the first number is obtained by adding 1. The second number is obtained by adding 4. The third number is obtained by adding 9. Now look at these numbers. What are they? They happen to be your square numbers. So this is cube and this is a square number. 8 is a cube of 2 and this 4 is a square of 2. So it is quite clear that the first number has to be a cube number followed by the square number of the respective position. The cube of 4 is 64. So 64 plus the square of 4 is 16. So 64 plus 16 is 80. So we have landed on getting the pattern here. The next number has to be the cube of 5 which is 125 and the square of 5 which is 25. So that has given me the sum 150 which is the next number. So logically the next number has to be the cube of 6 added to the square of 6 which is 216 which is the cube of 6 added to 36. So when I'll do that 216 plus 36 is how much? It has to be 252, correct? So this number is in my option and hence that is our answer 252. You always have the options to verify with multiple trial and error and because the numbers were increasing with higher values, I could think that it could be some exponential values. So this is how I landed up getting the answer to this pattern. I hope that made sense.